Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the GeoCoast. Um, today I'm meeting Professor Robert Devoy. Hello, Robert. Hello. Hi, Max. Um, Robert is a professor of physical geography, and for most of his life he has been working at University College Cork. Mm -hmm. And he's a unique man. You, he's like a walking encyclopedia. You can ask him about anything, and he can talk for hours. So I'm really looking forward to this uh, interview, and I hope like our listeners would learn a lot of new for themselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, Robert, how would you describe yourself? Who are you and what are your main areas of expertise? Well, as you say, Max, my name is Robert. Um, I was born on the Isle of Wight a uh, long time ago <laughs> in southern England. And uh, as an island, then obviously it's surrounded by sea. And I lived very close to the sea, grew up by the sea. And I suppose it's hardwired into my genes. Uh, I love things to do with the physical world, the physical environment, and particularly seas and coasts and marine subject fields. So all of that is sort of the background to me. And uh, I went to university particularly to work on physical geography and wider geography as well, and all things environmental. Um, so it was very much a conscious choice to, to study, and that's been my career ever since. Hmm. And like, as for most of your life, you've been studying coastal processes and uh, coastal landscapes. Yeah. Yeah. But so also like, important to just link it in to increasingly aware that um, the study of the physical world has significance for people mm -hmm. and people impact that physical world. So increasingly in my later years, it's been about the management of the environment. Um, in all sort of different aspects. So yes, working on physical uh, geography issues, physical, geological, geological issues, um, but in all sorts of dimensions. But the management of the environment mm. is, is of great significance. But what I wanted to ask you is, can you describe what are the main processes uh, which are responsible for shaping our coastal environments, which are responsible for shaping coastal landscapes? Mm. Mm. It's a big question. Um, it's an earth-sized question because over 70 percent that sort of figure of the earth is water and the oceans and obviously the meeting point of the oceans with the land is our coastline and the world has 80,000 plus kilometers of coasts of different sorts of shapes and forms but they're all driven by a few sort of fundamental controls of which the sea rise and fall, going up and coming down in the oceans is, is a critical one that determines exactly where between the tops of the mountains to the bottom of the oceans mm -hmm. the actual coastline is. And then almost irrespective of where we are in the world again, waves on top of that sea level, wherever that sea level is as it changes through time, would be the water surface and the water surface is disturbed by the atmosphere flowing over it, mm -hmm. creating waves. So different sorts of shapes and forms of waves as they impact on the coast create erosion and movement of the rock materials, the sediment, and that leads to our different sorts of basic coast, a depositional or an eroding coast. So waves are terribly important and what create waves from storms and storm energy through to just the gentle blowing of the wind of the surface of the sea. So all spectra of, of atmospheric disturbance. So those are the sort of two critical points. We can then talk about biological controls of sea animals and sea plants creating different shapes to the coast. Um, wind action um, as part of atmospheric disturbance, mm -hmm. not just water, but also the wind impacting on the coastline creates different sorts of coastal forms. Um, the effect of Earthquakes uh, creating, again, special forms, forms of waves, such as tsunami, uh, which are earthquake waves as distinct from storm energy waves. And another one, for example, would be gravity, um, just the effect of the Earth's gravity pulling rock material down from the high points um, of the land surface to the lower points, in other words, to sea level and below. So gravity, just that attraction is a, is a control in itself. And then perhaps lastly, um, we would include people, ourselves, because we constantly are changing our coast. And it 
never ceased to amaze me as I really got my eye into the Irish coastline, um, thinking it is pristine, clean and new and never seen a human being on it. And then you start to look and you see that every part of our coastline in this island has been affected by people in one way or another. And we can use that as a, an analogue for almost all parts of the world. All of our coasts have been impacted by people, even if we can't see uh, immediately what that impact is. So we change our coastal processes and our coastal shapes and forms, um, sometimes very clearly in, in a built environment and sometimes not so clearly.